Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama and on this video I would like to show you how to install Motion on Kali Linux. Before we start, I would like to show some specification of my laptop. So it has a memory of 12 GB. Initially it was 4, now I add an 8 more gigabyte of RAM the processor is Intel Core i7 and this is the graphic that is red but I'll show you later the operating system here is Kali Linux rolling 64-bit um, Kali Linux rolling is the new version of Kali Linux where it follows the update it always updates based on the current debut version and for my video graph video card there is an intel and both nvidia geforce 720m and the video driver that i'm using is no fail it's the default driver an open source nvidia driver if you want a better performance, NVIDIA driver is better, but for me this is quite enough. And this is other information from my video driver. And this is information about the performance of my hard disk. And so let's start. First off, go to the browser and you will have to search for a program or a software for uh, called kidney motion on linux kidney motion is an android emulator so you can emulate android for me i want to use it to play android games on my kali linux laptop okay I have a lot of problem in the past here as some of the search results but I think now I've gone over with that problem Ubuntu now just go for Linux so it will lead you to getnewmotion.com now you can go here straight away though but let me show you the front of the page go to getnewmotion.com and then you probably want to do resource sign in by now where should i download okay so since already know you should go to sign in mm, I didn't I didn't see any okay or you can just go to Google and search for getting motion download for Linux but now since I know that the first place that you have to go is to the login page you have to create an account I already Okay, then uh, an account on the other hand so let me just log in okay get the license wonder what this is now nah, I'll just go for download since I'm going to use this for me only I'm not doing this for commercial and stuff so check which candy motion version that suits you for me this one suits and then save wow so quick and then open the folder it'll be over here now if you're a Linux user, of course you usually do this in terminal, right? 
So I saved the the downloaded Animotion is in a folder called download on my home directory. Here you first just uh, okay. Instead of doing it blindly, it's better that I suggest you to actually look at a tutorial. Find a tutorial Gini Motion Linux. Install. And then try to search for newer tutorials past year. I use the tutorial from Linux Help. Com. And here they already have a video though. Get an account, sure. And we will start here. You should first give uh, an execution permission to the gain emotion, which is the command is ch mod plus x okay and then and let's mean l to check okay it's too much how about can you motion set away and you can see that the owner is me and these are the permissions now clear use this this direct dot means actually this directory and slash can emotion this one it will first give you a warning if you are using your own user it will only available for this user only but if you want it available for all users you should install it as root okay so no so I should log in as root one way is sudo su or the min s or su root or something yeah up to you try again and will be installed on this folder yes if you say no you can define your own folder but for me they should be fine yes ah i forgot to tell you that you need virtual box avail or available on your linux so now it's already installed apt, apt I use aptitude you can install aptitude though search virtual box this one is that I install but you can copy everything and install virtual box you can simply install virtual box if you need other component then you can simply put a star or a wildcard at the end this will install all of this package and now run can emotion well if now I'm using Kali Linux it should be available on usual application in programming and then run okay your organic in motion interface is set okay after this we need to add a virtual phone mm, so oh there is a new phone that came out I give it a try Google Nexus 9 wait oh 7 device model all okay let's try the new one which one is actually the new one by the way sorry I'm not good with this stuff nine and so we need a G app 7.0 
let's take a look Sorry. Search for Kenny Motion Linux. Wait, no, 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 no. Kenny Motion with Google Play. I went to Stack Overflow. Oh yes, install. You should install the ARM translation installer first. Hey, okay. I download. Okay. So first, you need an ARM translation installer. Download file safe wait do I really need it here well we'll see I'm going to make I'm going to I'm going to alter the video um, which one works is that one I will use Okay, that one is already downloaded, but for now, let's stick to this. What the OpenG app I to use for 7.0? 7.0, way. Eh? What version is this? It's 7.0. Okay. Let me cut the video first, and... Hello, everyone, and... I'm back, but... It seems that Google, the new Google Nexus 9 on Kenny Motion didn't work quite well for me. And so as for custom tablet 6.0, I don't have a solution for now. But I know the one that works for me before was, was the custom tablet 5.1 or custom phone 5.1. Hmm, do I need a custom tablet? I'll just go with a custom phone. Okay. So let me download. So using a Google Nexus, the new one, I can. For the graphic is okay to play, but I cannot solve the solution for the audio driver for now. So just to make things work, I'll go for um, I'll go for the old custom phone 5.1. Okay, while well, at it, let's go back how to install a Play Store on the custom phone. So get get the motion Google Play. And then I used from the stack overflow and I followed by only the ARM translation installer and and the one for the custom phone open app didn't work for me open the open G app but what worked for me is this one was we is W Brook uh, G app and the one is 5.1 okay but let's see if i already downloaded it it's finished this one i did it and install some games but the sound i couldn't fix i already tried uh, changing the driver into the virtual box maybe it's the internal os itself but for now, I should live up with the custom phone 5.1. I don't have the trend arm translation yet. Okay, I already did. Oh, and I downloaded it two times. 
Okay, just deleting one of them. And now we'll download the GF 5.1 from this from W Brooks GitHub. Okay, so I'm downloading. First, I need to put ARM on this one. Okay. And I turn this off. Well, in most tutorials, you can use ADB reboot in the command line, but I prefer to use the not recommended way by turning off the phone why why is it already still running there was some problem okay let's just close it okay the download is finished and then open it up again and then drag the G app for Android 5.1 on the custom phone okay ah maybe I was too fast I lost my patience sorry Just actually, I'll turn off as usual. <laughs> Looks like it's not like the oh, it's off. Okay, now I'll start it again. So, on the custom phone 6.0, I on the problem with the G app there maybe there was a solution but I don't have one so if you know I'll be grateful if you can make comment on this video Seven. Sorry, this takes long. Okay. Now I need to open the Play Store. Got it. store okay let me stop the video for a while okay I'm continue recording so after this is you can install random application and the tutorial said that they he will automatically automatically ask you to update Google Play and the Play Store. But for me, I like it just opening the browser and then go to and then find Play Service and this one, and then open it with Play Store. Search it in the browser just once. 
and then it asks you to download maybe update installing okay while well, edit can I leave this behind I want to install some games okay now the game that I want to install is Clash Royale install and one thing you need one more thing you need is Google Play Although when you're playing a game, it automatically asks you to install Nah, I'll just go into the game and let it warn me As you hear, it's like the sound didn't go well Google Play Games. See, first you need to install Google Play Games, then you can play normally. Okay, as before, what am I doing? Well, I'm updating the Google. Okay, just let it do what it wants for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything's done, and you might have heard that there is some sound problem with it. Let's see if I restart the app. And then play again. then open class royale uh, the sound is still a problem and then this is probably because my audio driver or something okay so if you look here it's if you are watching my other video, this one is more, this one is more smoother than the previous one. Maybe custom from 5.1 didn't take much and the CPU is not that big. And what I did, if we, and what causes the lag is because I'm recording while pl playing using the same using this android emulator so what i did was i reduced the quality of the video to 15 fps well back then it was 30 back then when using 30 it took a whole my whole cpu on google nexus 9 that is but this time it's okay before finishing the video there's one thing I would like to try is I like to try changing the audio driver let's hope that pulse audio works if it doesn't work then I'll find other ways probably because of my settings but if you're using like Ubuntu, Debian or maybe the old maybe the the old Kali Linux it probably work 
or if you can if you're already happy enough to play without a good sound then this is this should be quite okay let's try no it didn't work <laughs> it's my audio driver problem then we'll see how doing <laughs> you're probably angry at me right i'm using a royal join deck well what can i do most of my people ask for okay that's none they all ask for giants they all ask for wizards and this is the only cards that i can that have the highest level this is the deck that i was hoping that i can use in the future not this one I like to use lightning and then the mega minion and a baby dragon and a lock called a never lock but this is the only card that I have and I don't have that much money but let's see it's speed playing this If you are on the legendary arena in the trophy of 3500, you will find an overwhelming uh, CPU, uh, CPU, I mean bot, but it's okay if you, <laughs> if you, uh, if you're okay without playing a sound, then this is great. <laughs> this is smooth enough for me hmm. damn it I'm already overpowered their cards level are different and one thing I'm not used to playing on Genie Motion so so that is for today guys thank you for following the video and i'll let you know if i fix the sound issue but it's got smooth enough 